Hello everyone. We are a group of six students from the KU Leuven campus Bruges. The main goal of this challenge is to design and implement a flood defense solution for emergency response in case of erosion due to overtopping. To find the perfect solution, we had to take some key points into account. It must be easy to apply, cheap and cost efficient, biodegradable, ecological and durable, strong and a getaway to a longer solution. We started by addressing the damage. In reality, damage will affect the crest but also the toe of the levee, which is why two damage areas are provided on each section. The first damage consists of removing the upper 15 cm of the grass cover near the crest of the levee. The second damage is at the toe of the levee. A cliff was dug with a depth of 0.5 meters. After tidying up the loose material, we dealt with the damage. We did this by applying a band-aid to the damaged toe and crest cover. This band-aid consists of placing sheets of sandbags on the damaged parts. Steel pins were placed in the corners where needed. The second damage at the bottom of the levee was solved in the same way. Some of the sandbags are filled all with soil to imitate the shape of the slope as closely as possible. Half of the sandbags were also attached to the sides of the cliff with pins. After the depth damage had been repaired, we applied a protection to the surface. We chose for the slope max 7 numbers made by the building company Tradec. We opted for this mat because it has a very high tensile strength and it is made for short term peak flow rates. The mat obtains these qualities because the coconut grid is stitched to the coconut fabric to form one cloth. At the top of the levy, the mat is anchored in an anchoring ditch. We anchored the ditch directly near where the supplier indicated. The hour testing conserved larger forces and flow rates than it had been tested. The ditch was then supplemented with filled sandbags. The remaining part of the mat was anchored to the slope at the rate of 6 pins per square meter. Two layers of coconut mat were applied to the damaged parts to ensure that the incoming flow could not mount into the existing damage. Extra anchoring was also provided on the overlap between two mats. Along the sides, the coconut mat is folded in half and reattached to the ground with anchors. This should prevent the water from getting under the mat and down the sides. The total amount of time needed to fully repair the damage was 3 hours and 38 minutes with 6 people. The next day we started the large-scale study overload test. Water is pumped from nearby and jet is charged on the BB in a controlled way. Each of the tests has a duration of 30 minutes. The flow rates are respectively 350, 500 and 650 liters per second. After the first series of tests, the coconut mat has stretched but held into place by the anchor spins. Further in testing, the mat takes on a wave-like pattern at a certain point. These are mainly the stretch pieces held by place by the anchors and the breeze from the pump water that settles under the mat. Therefore, this does not cause any further damage and is mostly the setting of the mat due to a high flow rate. After no significant damage occurred, the choice was made to create an artificial tear just above the repaired clip. Thereafter, the section was again tested for 30 minutes at 350 and 50 minutes at 500 liters per second. At the first test, there was not much change, only further widening of the tear. In the 15 minute test, we already see a bigger difference. The crack has stretched further and some of the back have shifted, but further erosion does not seem to be an issue. The removal of the coconut mat was quite easy. It can be slowly rolled down to the levee while it pulled out the steel anchored pads. Then, the pins can be removed from the coconut mat and both elements can be reused. After that, the sandbags can be removed and emptied, so the damages could be permanently repaired. We can conclude that our chosen method is certainly sufficient to protect the levy. The method we have used is easy, quick to install and protects the whole levy. Another plus is that the coconut mats and sandbags are biodegradable. If you look at the price, it can also be said that this is a fairly cheap solution. We have also want to promote that this method, apart from the fact that it can be used several times, it can also be used as a permanent solution. After some time, when roots have grown through the geotextile, an intertwined system with increased erosion and resistance is formed.